Okay, so today we're going to talk about what is PipeBot and what does it do. I'm going to incorporate a little demo video as well so we can kind of follow how it's working. So for those of you who don't know, um, operating an oil pipeline uh, is done with a control room operator and they're executing their procedure for a startup. So in a startup, what does PipeBot do? So PipeBot does executes the procedure on their behalf as software. Um, so here you can see um, how we engage PipeBot. So this could be, you know, on your existing screen as a control room operator, actually from a FIMSA perspective, that's much preferred, um, you know, minimizing any new new things uh, for control room operators, minimize their fatigue, the, the amount that they have going on, right? So, so here you can see where, um, you know, a control room operator enter in their target flow rate. How that's different than what they currently do is currently um, they're actually now they would be lining the valves, um, you know, getting ready to start sending um, suction and discharge pressure set points, pump starts uh, to each pump station. So, you know, we've got our we have our um, target flow rate in we're selecting enable um, and now everything's getting going. So you can see here on this uh, this video that we have playing um, the flow rate and how the flow rate is starting to creep up as uh, the pumps are turned on. So the key difference here between what uh, control room operator be doing versus what PipeBot is doing is PipeBot is just doing this automatically. Your control room operator is observing and monitoring, you know, same as a, a pilot would be monitor monitoring their autopilot software. So uh, let's go now, um, we'll pull in the, uh, the hydraulic profile, so you're seeing this sawtooth. So as PipeBot is executing the pressure set point changes, um, the pressure differentials you know, at the uh, pump station to the next pump station are growing. That's what's making the flow uh, start moving. So again, your control room operator normally would be doing that, um, but PipeBot is doing for, your, for the control room operator. So as a control room operator, you know, this demo video is probably pretty underwhelming because you're like, oh, well, that's what I already do. That's the whole point, right? It's automating what these folks do, what they're already really good at, but, you know, lowering their workloads so that we can, you know, have safer operation and therefore more efficient operation, which drives revenue for pipeline operating companies. Um, so what exactly does it do, right? Like, you know, to simplify and to summarize what it does is it will start up, shut down, uh, maintain max rates. Uh, actually, that's max opt, so that's an add-on, but <laughs> we'll, we'll maintain max rates, <clears throat> handle batch handling, automated strips, and automated swings for control room operators operating oil pipelines. So all of that um, is fully automated on the control room operator's behalf. Uh, you know, I love to say it and I'll say it every time, you know, we're not going to fly fly in a commercial plane without autopilot software, but we're not going to fly a commercial plane without a pilot. So really, we're just freeing up the control room operators so that they can, you know, take those calls from oil scheduling, take those calls from the field, you know, watch multiple of these lines uh, run at the same time, which they're already doing, but making it a little bit easier for them. Uh, so that is what PipeBot is. It is software. Um, it runs on top of the existing SCADA system, and that's what it does. It operates, uh, it operates the pipeline on behalf of the control room operator. So hopefully that was useful. Don't forget to click and subscribe. Um, follow us on LinkedIn. That's where we put a lot of our content. Of course, if you work at a pipeline company or an oil and gas company, you're interested in robotic industrial process automation or PipeBot itself, feel free to reach out directly. Thanks.